Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hello. Oh, fine. How are you doing? You don't can see the selecta Cuscatleca. Oh, is, is La Selecta playing in this moment? One, one, zero. One, zero. Is winning or losing? Is winning. Is winning. <laughs> Is playing against which team? Uh, San Cristobal y Nieves. Oh. The Caribbean, also this Iceland. Oh, in the, Carib the Caribbean island, good. So uh, yeah. in, in which minute are they in this moment? In minute? 20, 21. Okay, so it's the first, the first half. The first time. The first half. Okay, good. So who scored? <laughs> who, is, who scored the goal? Uh, who scored the goal? Perez. Perez. Oh, nice. All I new. Hope, yeah. all, all, all new, all new guys. Yeah, hello, good evening, <laughs> Peter. Oh, I think she, she left. Okay, so um, so is winning then? The selector is winning in this moment. For this moment. In, yeah, by now, by now. So by far, now. so far, so far, yeah. hasta ahora, so far. I, I can spread out. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully they, they will classify. Hopefully they will classify. <laughs> Hi Galileo. Hi, Hi teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you. How are you? Fine. Very oh, well. Nice. Thank you. Nice. It's Frida good to looks see really you. tired. Yeah, I can see she's like a little stressed. Always. Always. <laughs> yeah, there's there's always a lot of work, Frida. I know. Whatever. Me too. Me Sorry? too. Me too. Stressful. You are stressed too. Oh my God. Eh, stressful. That is the reason why I am stressful. Oh. Eh. <laughs> I see the reason. You have a good reason to be stressed. It's a really good reason. <laughs> yeah. How old is he? Yeah. He How old is he? Uh, three years old. <laughs> three. When, is, when is his birthday? And in December 27. And in the, on December 27. He is yeah. he is two months older than my son. Really? Yeah, my, wow. my son is my son is three years old and his birthday is in February. Three months. Yeah, two months, I guess. For two months difference. Yeah. For your son. Sorry? Uh, my my little boy born three months or two months before your son. That's right. So your son yeah. is older than my son. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yes, God, my daughter is, is, already, is more older. Or I don't know. Uh, is? Yes. More older? It's older. You say it's older. It's older. It's older than your children. Than your children, you can say. Yeah. Thank God. How old is your daughter? How old is? My daughter have thirteen years. Oh, she is a teenager right now. Yeah. 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 She's old. Well, she's older, not she's old. She's older, okay? She's older than oh, our children. How old is your baby, Frida? 13 years old. 15? 13. 13. Okay. It's, it's, a, it's a miss, una señorita, yeah? Teenager. Teenager, you're right. Okay, everyone. So uh, I guess we are now we are, let me see, nine. Okay, so welcome to the class. Uh, this coming Tuesday, basically, uh, three more days and we finish the module. Okay, so time really flies. So hopefully we are going to finish on Monday. Okay, 
So uh, let's start the class and let me pass the attendance quickly. All right, let's see. Alejandro Antonio. Ana Abigail. Okay, Ana Beatriz. We see you, uh, Abigail. We saw you connected yesterday, but we didn't listen to you. Sorry, es que tengo problemas de conexión. Ah, okay. Well, no, no, I mean, we, yesterday we saw you were connected, but we didn't listen, we didn't listen to your voice. Sí, solo estuve oyendo. Ah, ok, ya, yeah, ahí sí. Es que tenía algo de migraña, entonces no me podía estar. Ok, but, but now you feel better. Ok. Do you feel better? Sí, ya ahorita ya me Yes, mejor. ok, very good. Christian? Present teacher. Ok, um, Ember? I'm here. Oh, Ember, it's good to see you. Thank you, teacher. All right, Frida? Rita? I'm here. Okay, Jacqueline is it? Juan Carlos Alas? Juan Carlos Rivas? I'm here. Okay, good. Maria Elena? Maria Elena? She's not connected yet. Okay. Mauricio Antonio? Nelson? Aquí, teacher. Okay, Omar Francisco? Present, teacher. All right, I didn't see you yesterday, Omar. Yes. <laughs> Omar, okay, Oscar Anulfo? I'm here. Oscar Ernesto? Rocío? Present. Okay, Jacqueline Gloribel? Present. Oh, I didn't see Jacqueline Glory Bell yesterday either. <laughs> Jocelyn Joanna. Jocelyn Joanna. She's not connected. Okay. Dinora. Present teacher. Oh, I didn't see Dinora yesterday. Oh, she is too Dinora. Yeah, she was present. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember she was present. Yes. Recuerdo que sí. Sorry. And Jose eh, Galileo. Present teacher. All right, everyone. So uh, welcome to this uh, to this class. And well, for today. Yeah, uh, I'm here. Sorry? Oh, Maria Elena. I'm okay. Here. Maria Elena is here. She's saying, okay, let me put the attendance then. Okay. Present Thank you. teacher. Oh, Ana Beatriz too. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so uh, for, for today, uh, we started in previous classes, right? In previous uh, modules, we started about the simple present, like for routines, for example, I usually go shopping, I usually supervise employees, or I never check email, or I sometimes go shopping, okay? So the simple present. And we studied the past too, okay? We studied the past, like when you say, for example, um, I went to, to San Miguel yesterday, I checked email yesterday or I didn't attend any clients the last week. Okay, so we studied the past two and the present continues, okay? Like for example, when you say, um, I am speaking right now or these days I am working really hard or these days I am what? I am working very late, okay? I am working very late these days. So we study the present continuous too. So today, today we are going to study the future, okay? The future, but for plans, for plans or for a schedule activities, okay? So basically that's the topic for, uh, for today, yeah? All right, so let's start. And to start, I have one question for you, okay? So yesterday we studied um, vocabulary related to hotel reservations, okay? Or amenities, accommodations, and well, anything related to hotels, okay? So question for everybody. If you want to answer, say, okay, me teacher. Uh, qu the, the question right now is, what services or amenities 
do you find in a hotel or do you see in a hotel? Shuttle service. Shuttle service or bus service. What else? Um, if, uh, uh, Frida? Uh, service. Spa. spa service okay spa service or maybe you can say jacuzzi okay very good thank you what else wi-fi wi-fi internet or wi-fi connection gym exactly what else laundry service exactly we can find laundry service okay what else what other service or amenity can you find uh, restaurant oh hamburger restaurant Restaurant service. Okay, what about you, uh, Nelson? You said one? Oh, Saint Laurent. Sorry? Saint Laurent. What, what is that? Okay. Saint Laurent. Mm, I don't get it. Single, single room. Single a room. single. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, we can find a single room. Okay, a single room or a double room right or a triple room yeah very good thank you Nelson yes. uh what other services can you find I'm reading yesterday how do you say it? free breakfast free parking premium coffee option for pillows que me pareció raro. Op option for raro. pillows yeah yeah commonly you know uh, you know right some people uh, like pillows, all right? And they like a lot of pillows, yeah. okay? Yeah, it's normal in a hotel, I mean. Normally in a hotel, they give you two pillows, right? Or one, if it's a single room. But many people like a lot of pillows on their beds, okay? So they can ask okay. for extra pillows, yeah? Uh, what is pillow? Pillows, what is pillows, Maria Elena? Almohada. Almohadas. Pillows is uh, almohadas, okay? okay. Yeah. I mean, I was saying that some people like pillows, okay? So one pillow is not enough, okay? So they need more pillows, okay? So that's, that. so you can have that service in a hotel. You can say, hey, can you please give me extra pillows, okay? And then you can have this service. The, the, you said the coffee service, Maria Elena, you said coffee service too? Yes. Uh, premium coffee. Ah, uh, premium, uh, premium coffee service. Premium coffee. <laughs> yeah. Cool area. Sorry? Cool area. Cool. Cool. Ah, the pool. That's right. The pool, like for swimming. Okay. Yeah. Ah, that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's important. What else? Uh, fresh in the room. Ah, exactly. This is not very common, right? Maybe here in the country is not very common, okay, for hotels. But in some countries, it's very common to have, you can say, hey, I need a fridge in my room, okay, because you want to have some cold beverages, maybe, okay? So it's, it's common sometimes. Not here, but it's common in other places, okay? So do you have more services? Room service. Sorry? Room service. Room service, okay, that's important, okay? Maybe to ask for food or anything you need, okay? Yeah, room service, very good. The cleaning service? I mean, to maybe your, your room is a little dirty, okay? And you need someone to clean it. So the cleaning service, okay? Good, okay, so do you have more services or that's it? Or no more services? Is there a Shoe shine or uh, yeah, service. Can you repeat it? Shoe shine or yeah, uh, shoe shine. Yeah, shoe shine is okay. Shoe shine service. Okay, shoe service. shine service. Shoe shine service. Yeah, maybe your your shoes are a little dirty and you need to to polish them, right? Okay. Polish. So, polish them. Okay, so you can say shoe shine service or shoe polish service. Shoe polishing service. Okay. Good. Thank you very much. Okay, so as you can see in hotels, we have different services, right? Many services, many services. Very good. So we started that yesterday. And by the way, by the way, at the end of the class, you wrote some services, okay? Escribieron algunos servicios or amenities, okay? So did everyone do it? ¿Todos los escribieron? 
Did everyone write the services? Yes? yes. Okay, now listen. Listen, in this moment, we are going to break our rooms. And you, okay, you with your group, you will compare, okay? You will compare your services or amenities with your classmates' services or amenities for the next three. And when we come back, cuando regresemos, when we come back to the main session, you will share your classmate services, okay? Van a compartir los servicios que tienen sus compañeros, not yours, your classmate services. So take notes if you want. Take notes if you want, okay? Pueden tomar notas, you can take notes. Any question? No? No. Okay, I repeat. No. Yesterday at the end of the class, you were supposed to write, okay, to write some services or amenities for your next trip. So with these services, let's go to breakout rooms and compare. When we come back to the main session, you will share with the class, but not your services, okay? You will share your classmate services, okay? Good. So let's go to breakout rooms, like for three or four minutes and take notes if necessary, okay? Teacher, ¿cómo se dice? Sintieron un gran vacío este día. <laughs> but, 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 but what? I mean, what, what is the purpose of the example? Ese es, la, okay, el, sentimiento, sea, ese es el sentimiento que yo les dejé a ellas el día de hoy porque no, no estoy en la no. oficina. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sintieron un gran vacío, but I mean, I want to hear the purpose of the uh, of, of the idea because in that way I can tell you the right way to say it, okay? What is the purpose of the? De que ellos sintieron, la señorita Abigail, Jacqueline, y los demás sintieron un gran vacío porque yo no estuve el día de hoy. Ah, okay. Maybe you can, you, you can say you, you were really sad because I didn't go to work today. <laughs> no ah, puedo sí. mentir yo. <laughs> <laughs> No pensado, words, si no, no words, speechless. Sí, pero si a usted le encantan las mentiras, yo miento, don Juan. Lloré, pues. Vaya. Yo había colocado Wi-Fi, Internet, Restaurant, Family Room, Rented Car y Pool. Family Room. Sí. ¿El qué? Um, what do you mean by Jacqueline? What do you mean by What do you mean when you say family eh, room? Habitación familiar. Sorry. Como eh, habitación familiar. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but maybe you can say a triple room or a queen size bedroom or I don't know because a family room doesn't like in a hotel you don't say family room. Okay, maybe you can say triple room or double room. I don't Entonces, know. En ese caso sería... How many how, how many members are there in your family? Four. Four members. You, your husband, and two children. Yes. Um, and maybe yes. you can say a triple room or a double room. Un cuarto doble, okay? A double room, maybe. Or a triple room. Si son tres camas, you can say triple room. Triple. Triple room or double room. If you need to bed. Y, su okay. y suite teacher y los penthouse entran en esos amen uh, amenities. Yeah, yes, yes. But, yeah, but when we say uh, suites and penthouse, maybe we are talking about accommodations because accommodations are like rooms. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, these are accommodations, not amenities, okay? Amen. Or services, uh -huh. exactly. Okay. You can say accommodations. Okay, eh, bueno, entonces family room sería triple. A uh -huh, triple room if you need three beds. If you need only two beds double. for the family, you say double, double room. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and this is accommodation. Yes, I mean, the room is an accommodation, the room, okay, the room is an accommodation. How many beds have to the room on the, uh, inside the room is accommodation? I mean, if, if it's a place to sleep, it's accommodation, a place to rest. It's an, okay. I mean, the, the room of a hotel is an accommodation. Okay. Yeah. Bueno, yo puse espas... Spa service, rent a car service, laundry service, fridge in the room, in where the other? Ah, no, yo había colocado penthouse, pero es accommodation. Dijo eh, laundry, laundry rent a car. service, cleaning, uh -huh. cleaning service sería el otro. Cleaning is is different that. Laundry teacher. Yes, because cleaning is like, well, imagine your room is dirty and you call and you say, hey, I need somebody to clean my, my room, okay? So it's a cleaning service. And laundry service is that you take your clothes or somebody takes your clothes to wash, to wash. To wash. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Don Juan, repita. Repeat, Spa please. Service. Don Juan, repeat, please. Don Juan, repeat, please, okay? <laughs> spa service. Ah, spa. Carísimo usted va. Sí. Rent car service. Rent a car. Rent a, rent a car service. Yo pensé que esa palabra era rent a car no existía. Yes, it exists. Actually. Rent a car, renta un carro. Yes, servicio de renta un carro. Yeah, rent a car service. Ah, okay. Yeah. Laundry service. A fridge in the room and clean cleaning service. Cleaning service, exactly. Okay. Cleaning, cleaning in the room is bastante importante, ¿verdad? The laundry, the laundry, the Okay, Amber, los suyos. Pues tenemos varios similares, algún service, restaurant, clean in the room, eh, igual eh, swimming pool. Los que quizás tenemos diferentes eh, servicios de maintenance, de mantenimiento, uh, laundry, y yo le había puesto. Uh, igual el de limpieza eso es lo único que tendríamos ok entre otros ¿verdad? estoy bueno a veces también cuando viajas con alguien verdad eh, pedís habitación con dos recámaras Bed, parece que le dicen. Double room. Double room. Double room. Uh -huh. Double room. Uh -huh. Or if it's three beds, you say triple room. Triple room. Three beds. Yes. For three beds, triple room. You say okay. single room, single room, single room, double room, and triple room. And then you have the queen side bedroom, queen. Okay, the queen side bedroom and the king, the queen and the king side bedroom too. Yeah. Okay. King. King and queen. King and queen side bed. Hello. 
Hello, did you finish? Finish, teacher. Yes. Nice. That says uh, when you uh, when you share, you will share uh, your classmates' amenities or services. Okay, not yours. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very good. So let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay, okay, everyone. Uh, now I think that you uh, share uh, the amenities uh, or services that you have with your classmates, okay? Now it's time to share. It's time to, to share. So please listen. When you share, you will say, uh, my classmates, or, you, or maybe you can say, my classmate Abigail had in past, okay? My classmate Abigail had Wi-Fi internet, single room, I don't know, okay? So you, but you need to say, my classmate Omar had, had is the past tense of the verb have, okay? So you say, my classmate Abigail had, my classmate Omar had, my classmate Dinora had, and then you continue talking about the amenities, okay? For example, I can say, uh, my classmate Frida had, um, cleaning service, um, pool service, and then you continue, okay? Yeah, very good, so let's start. Um, let's listen to Dinora. Okay, my classmate Oscar had tour guide service, gym, restaurant, swimming pool, a breakfast in the room, and parking. And parking. Very good. And my classmate. Continue. Continue. <laughs> and my classmate Ember have gym, restaurant, swimming pool, laundry room, laundry service, maintenance service, and cleaning room. Okay, you say maintenance or maintenance? Maintenance. Maintenance. Fantastic. Oh, very good. That's excellent. Fantastic. Thank you very much for sharing. Very good. So let's listen now to, um, let's see, Christian, are you ready? Yes, ready. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, in this case, um, my, class, my classmate, Mauricio Oriana Hell, um, casino, gym, restaurant, and conference room. Um, in the, well, in the case of Galileo, no logramos. Ah, you didn't finish with Galileo. All right, it's okay with Mauricio. Thank you very much. So great work, terrific. Thank you for asking, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, now let's listen to, um, to a girl, okay, to another girl. So let's listen to uh, Rocio. Okay. Um, my classmate, uh, Anna, had a dancing room, a pool service, laundry service, uh, transport service, and Wi Fi service. And um, my another classmate, Abigail. Uh, had room service, security service, party service, and service. And me, uh, fridge, uh, fridge in the room, a safe place, uh, it's equal security service or como seguridad en el lugar. Yeah. Uh, gym area and recreation area. Nice, that's excellent. Thank you very much. So awesome. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your, your work, Rocio. So, wow, wow, oh my God, I like the party, the, the, the party service. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, when I listen to party service, I just imagine they take a party to your, to your room, right? <laughs> I don't know why that came into my mind, but, but, but that's fine. Okay, it's okay. 
Thank you very much. Okay, uh, I think Frida is raising hands. Frida, do you want to share? No. No, solo estaba aplaudiendo la presentación. Ah, okay, okay, sorry, sorry, okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, let's listen to another uh, boy. Let's listen to um, Galileo. Yes, sir. Okay. My my classmate had a tour and excursion guide, sunset boat trip, spa and jacuzzi service, laundry service, airport transport. This is the case of uh, Christian Lasso. Okay. In the case of uh, Mauricio Antonio, he had casino, restaurant, conference room. Excellent. Thank you very much. So you practice only with two classmates. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Only Thank you very two. much. So I want to say excellent. Okay. Thank you very much. Excellent work. Thank you for, for sharing. Okay. Very good. So uh, let's listen to two more opinions, okay? So let's listen to another uh, girl. Let's listen to Glory Bell. Oh, Glory Bell, uh, you don't have yours, but do you want to share? Yes. Okay, go ahead. We listen to you. We are all ears. My classmate, Frida, had Wi-Fi internet. Yeah. Service. Laundry service, spa service, pool area. Um, my classmate Nelson had Wi-Fi internet, Bridget in the room, business center, single room, um, safe. In the safe, okay. Good, that's excellent. Thank you very much. So good work. Thank you for sharing, okay. Thank you for sharing your work. Okay, so let's listen to one last boy. Okay, so let's listen to Juan Carlos Rivas. Okay, my classmate had a spa room. Who? Service. Who, Juan Carlos? Uh, Jacqueline. Ah, okay. My classmate Jacqueline. My classmate Jacqueline, he said, had a spa room. A double room service, free breakfast, free parking, premium coffee. Uh, but this is uh, Maria Elena say the three words: a uh, free breakfast, free parking, and free, uh, premium coffee. And me, I had spa room, rent car service. Laundry service and fish in the room. Nice. So you want to have some cold drinks in your room? Yes. Yes. Okay. Nice. That's excellent. Thank you, Juan Carlos. So congratulations. Okay. Great work. Thank you for, for sharing. Okay. So everybody, thank you for, um, I know everybody share, right? I know everybody compare uh, their services and amenities. So thank you very much for sharing. And for the ones who participated in this moment, thank you very much, okay? Now let's go to today's topic, okay? So to start with today's topic, uh, we, have, um, we have two questions, okay? We have two questions, the warm up questions. And in the questions we have this. Question number one is, do you prefer to stay this is about hotels, right? We continue talking about hotel reservations or hotels. So the question is, do you prefer to stay in modern or antique hotels when you travel? Modern, modern hotels, you know, um, modern hotels are like the new ones, right? The, the, the recent ones. And antique hotels are old hotels, okay? Old hotels. Second question, do you usually make your hotel reservations or someone else does it for you. It means another person makes the reservations for you, okay? Uh, maybe the answers you can say. If you ask me, uh, Bernardo, do you prefer to stay in modern or antique hotels when you travel? So in my case, I prefer to stay in modern hotels, okay? I prefer to stay in modern hotels. 
do you usually make your hotel reservations or someone else does it for you? I usually make my hotel reservations, okay? Yeah, so uh, this is on page 41. This is on page 41, activity one. So let's answer the questions quickly on your notebook. Let's answer the questions on your notebooks. I can see Oscar and Ember finished, okay? Thank you very much for raising your hands. Okay, I'll give you one more minute, okay? One more minute and we continue.
Okay, uh, okay, let's listen to some uh, to some of your classmates uh, listening to the two questions, okay? So I repeat, question number one is, do you prefer to stay in modern or antique hotels when you travel? Question number two is, um, do you usually make your hotel reservations or someone else does it for you, okay? So the pronunciation of question number one is modern, modern or antique, okay? modern or antique, okay? For the pronunciation of these two words. All right, let's listen to um, Maria Elena. <clears throat> Maria Elena, um, questions for you. Uh, do you prefer to stay in modern or antique hotels when you travel? I think so, I um, think autumn. Uh, do you prefer antique hotels? Yeah. Yes, so you say, I prefer. I prefer antique hotel. Okay, excellent. Antique or antique? Antique. Antique, okay, antique hotels. Okay, now repeat the answer. I prefer antique hotel. Antique. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see question number two. Uh, do you usually make your hotel reservations or someone else does it for you? I um reservation. Maybe you can say I make. Okay, I make my my reservation. I make my reservations. Okay, thank you very much, Maria Elena. Uh, now, Maria Elena, can you ask the questions? Um, can you ask Mauricio the questions, please? Okay, only you, you can put it on the... Yeah, sure. Why not? Sí. Okay, let me show you. Okay, so ask Mauricio, please. Mauricio, do you prefer to stay in modern or antique hotels? Where do you... Mm, uh, modern hotel. Do you usually make your hotel reservation or someone else does it for you? Uh, someone else does them for me. Does it for me. Okay. Thank you very much. Excellent. You say hotel or hotels. What is the correct pronunciation? Hotels or hotels? Hotels. Mm -hmm. Hotel. Hotels, you say hotels, Hotel. okay? Hotels, hotels, Hotel. hotels with stress in the last syllable, okay? Thank you, Mauricio and Maria Elena. Mauricio, uh, can you ask Frida the questions, please? Uh, Mauricio, can you ask Frida the questions? Yes. Uh... Frida, do you prefer to stay in modern or antique hotels when you travel? I prefer to stay in a modern hotel. Hotel. Okay. Do you usually make your hotel reservation or someone else does it for you? No, I don't make my hotel reservations. My husband makes family reservations. Okay. Nice, excellent. Thank you very much, Frida and Mauricio. Okay, Frida, uh, can you ask uh, Jacqueline Iset the questions, please? Okay, hello, Jacqueline. Do you prefer to stay? Uh, do you prefer to stay in a modern or antique hotel when you travel? When you travel? I prefer to. I prefer or. And uh, como se decía. <laughs> Antique. How do you say? Antique. 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 I prefer Hotel. antique. Hotels. Hotel. Okay. Do you usually make your hotel reservation or someone else does it for you? I make my reservation. Okay, thank you very much, Frida and Jacqueline Lisset. And uh, now, Jacqueline Lisset, can you ask Abigail the questions, please? Okay, Abigail, do you prefer to say in modern or antique hotels when you travel? Hello, 
Abigail. Hi, Abigail. Did you answer the questions? Hi, teacher. I'm having a problem with the connection. Okay. Okay. Hey, thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, then Jacqueline you said, ask um, Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz, do you prefer to stay in mother or antique hotels when you travel? I prefer antique hotel. Do you usually make your hotel reservation or someone else that is for you? I make reservation. Okay, thank you very much, okay? So uh, for the ones who participated, thank you very much. So uh, your participation was really good. So I want to say congratulations for your participation and your participation was outstanding, okay? Your participations uh, were outstanding, okay? So thank you for taking the time to participate in this activity, okay? Good, now let's go to the next activity, so listen. Uh, so basically, in the next activity, we have a conversation, okay? Two things, two things with the conversation, okay? Number one, we will, okay, I will pronounce the conversation for you. So you listen carefully to the pronunciation of the conversation, okay? Second, you will complete a little box with information from the conversation, okay? And then you will practice the conversation, okay? So let's go to the conversation and listen carefully. Okay, so listen carefully to the pronunciation of the conversation. Listen carefully. So basically the answer, the, 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 the conversation is about a phone call to a hotel. So please listen carefully. Escuchen cuidadosamente, listen carefully. I will start here. Jen, hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen, how can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Now listen again, listen again, and let's repeat with the microphone off, okay? So listen and repeat with the microphone off. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen, how can I help you? I can see some people are not repeating, okay? The idea is to repeat, to practice the pronunciation, okay? So let's continue with Gerardo. Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. <clears throat> How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room?
a single room, please. Okay, uh, thank you very much for repeating, okay? Thank you very much for uh, repeating. So uh, let's listen to Rocio, okay? Rocio, you are Jen. Okay, Rocio, you are Jen. And Oscar Arnulfo, you are Gerardo. Okay. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen, how can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, I am Oscar Viatoro. Thank you, Mr. Viatoro. When are you going to arrive? I am going to arrive on Friday. What? 14th. 14th. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Viatoro? I am going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Thank you, that's excellent. Thank you, Rocio and Oscar Villatoro. Okay, so the idea of doing this is that everybody listens to the pronunciation, okay? But not from me, but from different classmates, okay? So thank you, Rocio and Oscar Villatoro. So this time, let's listen to Glory Bell and Alejandro Antonio. Glory Bell, you are Jen, and Alejandro, you are Gerardo. Hello. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your night, please? Of course. I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double from? A single room, please. Okay, thank you very much, Glory Bell and Alejandro. Thank you for sharing. All right, now please, uh, everybody. Now this is for everybody. Take a moment, take a moment and read the conversation, okay? And later, I will ask you for some information, okay? So again, take a moment, read the conversation, check the information, and after, I will ask you some questions, okay? So take like two or three minutes to, to read the conversation, please. And try to remember some information. Teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Tengo problemas de conexión. Are you connected? Cuatro veces. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Are you connected with your Wi-Fi or with your cell phone data? Mm, Wi-Fi, pero me está dando problema. Okay, why don't you get connected with your cell phone? Or it's or is your, your ah, ahorita lo tengo con el celular. Ah, okay. So, can you leave it with your cell phone? Puedes quedarte con el celular conectado Pero entonces. Es su... Sí, solo que igual es súper lento con los datos. Oh my. oh my God, but now I can see sí. you. 
Pero ahorita se Voy te escucha. Voy a intentar, tal vez no me saca. Ok, ok, perfect. Thank you. Ok, thank you for telling me. Okay, uh, now, let me ask you uh, some questions about the conversation, okay? Just let me uh, remove this. Okay, so listen, uh, basically on this little chart, okay, uh, on this little chart, okay, we need to complete some information, okay? Just try to remember information from the conversation, okay? So question number one is, who is who? Who is the agent of the conversation? In the conversation. Jen. Who? Who? Jen. 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 Jen, exactly. Who is the guest? Gerardo. 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 What is guest? What is guest? And... Westford. Westford. Is that Westford? Yes, guest is Westford. Good. So the agent is Jen and the guest is Gerardo. Um, let me see. Check in. Okay, when is the check-in? Friday 14th. Friday 14th, exactly. So the check the check-in is on Friday 14th. And the checkout? Until Monday. Monday, Monday on 10th. Is, is, yeah, yeah, we don't have 18th, right? But obviously it's Monday 18th. Okay, three days. Thank you very much. Okay. So it's Monday. Okay, Monday 18th, to be more specific. Very good. Uh, what about um the room? Is it single room or double room? Single. single exactly single. exactly it's single room okay excellent thank you very much i can see you understood the conversation very well thank you now listen um just one thing that is very very important okay let me share this with you look uh, we have the case of um let me use another color we have the the, the case of wood okay and listen, we have the case of want to, and we have the case of uh, need to, okay? Need to. Okay, listen, uh, we use these three words. I can say here, good like, okay? Good like. I, I use these three words for requests, okay? What is a request? Requerimiento o solicitud. Una solicitud, okay? So we use these words for requests, would like. For example, you can say, um, I would like, I would like to make a reservation, for example, okay? I would like to make a reservation or I want to make a reservation. Or you can say, I need to make a reservation, okay? What is the difference between these words? I mean, the idea of these words is to speak about requests. Es hacer solicitudes, okay? That's the idea of these words. The difference is, okay? Sorry? Sería como, ¿qué es lo que necesita? ¿Qué es lo que le gusta? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, but, but the idea of this is to make requests, okay? Hacer solicitudes, like, I would like to make a reservation or I would like, um, to invite you to a party is a request, okay? Yeah. So, what is the difference? Good, when you use would like, it's polite. It's something polite. But if you say want to or need to, this is, this is not, this is not polite, okay? So when you, when you call, when you call to a hotel, and you say, hey, I would like, or good morning, I would like to make a reservation. You are being polite, okay? Estamos siendo educados. I would like to make a reservation. But when you, when you say, uh, hey, uh, good morning, I want to make a reservation. This is not polite. Or imagine you say, hey, good evening, I need to make a reservation. Teacher, no le so this is not polite. Esto no es, eh, digamos, cortés. O no son frases de cortesía para pedir una, para pedir alguna solicitud, para hacer alguna solicitud, perdón. Ok, so I repeat, I would like to make a reservation is polite. I want to or I need to make a reservation is not polite, ok? Yeah. Um, is it clear? 
Do you have an equation about would like, need to, and want to? Do you have an equation about this? Or is clear? Clear. It's very clear, good. I, I would like to make a reservation, okay? Can you think I about... I have a question. Sorry? I have a question. What is it? Mm, si, Así se, si se hace ocupando need or want, se puede hacer, pero no es corté, digamos, no es usual. Yes, yes, it's, it's not polite. What I can tell you is that we need something which is related to business or related to work, you need to be polite, okay? Like imagine you call from your work to a hotel to make a reservation, so you need to be polite. You say, uh, good morning, I would like to make a reservation, okay? So it's polite. But maybe when it's a family vacation, okay, when it's a family vacation, or maybe you want to make a reservation for what? For a family trip, okay, you don't have to be polite. Maybe you can say, good morning, I want to make a reservation for three people. I don't know, okay? So it depends on the, uh, on the, on, on, I mean, if it's business, a business reservation or something related to work or, is, or if it's something related to family, okay? Okay. Yeah, if it's related to family, you can say want to or, or need to, okay? But if it's work, obviously you have to be formal, okay? You have to be polite. So you say, I would like to make a reservation, okay? Maybe that's okay. a little difference. All right, thank you. Uh, any other question? No more questions. Okay, let me pass you the attendance again. Le voy a pasar asistencia otra vez. Let, let, me pass, let me pass the attendance again. Okay, let's see Alejandro Antonio. I'm here. Ana Abigail. Does she continue connected? No, right. Okay, uh, Ana Beatriz. Present. Okay, thank you. Christian. Present, teacher. All right, um, Amber. I'm here. Frida. I'm here. Jacqueline Lisset. I'm here. Juan Carlos Alas. Juan Carlos Rivas. Here. Maria Elena. Present. Okay, thank you. Um, Mauricio Antonio. Present. Good. Nelson Gabarrete. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Omar Francisco. Present teacher. Oscar Anulfo. Present. Okay. Rocio. Present. Jacqueline Gloribel. Present. Jocelyn Joanna. Yes, uh, Dinora. Present teacher. And Jose Galileo. I'm here, teacher. All right, thank you very much. Okay, so let's take the two minutes right now. Tomemos los dos minutos ahorita, two minutes. No me tomen más de dos minutos, two minutes. Okay, llévenos allí en, en su cronómetro, two minutes. So let's go to the two minutes break.
Okay. Time is over. Time is over. Let's come back. <clears throat> Okay, uh, so I don't, I don't know, uh, I just have a question. I just have a question, just tell me please, just remind me. Uh, the question is, in the previous classes or in the previous modules, uh, did we study the use of will for the future? Did we study the use of will for the future? For example, I will go to, to San Miguel tomorrow, or I will travel to San Salvador next week. Did we study the use of will? No, never? Not sure. Never. Never. In, never in the module. Yes. No. Yes or no? No. No. Okay, very good. So uh, then forget about that. Ne forget about that. Okay, good. So listen, um, uh, for, for this part, we have the use of going to, okay? And going to, we use going to for the future. So please, I want you to pay attention very carefully here. I will explain, but please, I want you to pay attention very, very carefully, okay? Good, so let me share screens. <clears throat> I guess some people completed these exercises about going to, okay? Now, okay, let's go here. So listen. Uh, so I want you to look at these uh, examples. I want you to look at these examples, okay? So first we have affirmative sentences, okay? And the first thing we have to consider is that we use going to, okay? This is going to, right? Uh, we use going to to speak about plan activities or schedule activities. So when you have plans for the future, you use going to, okay? And we have example number one. These, the first examples are affirmative, okay? Example number uh, one. I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. So basically you have a plan, giant plan, okay? We have a plan. Example number two, affirmative. I'm going to stay until Monday. I'm going to stay until Monday, okay? Example number three. Miss Puentes is going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th, okay? Miss Puentes is going to travel. So we have another example. So basically, when we use this, when we use going to, it's because we have plans. We use going to when we have plans for the future, okay? Now let's see the negative examples. Hold on a second. Uh, let's see the negative sentences. Ah, look. Is not going to fly, okay? So we put not. Miss Puentes is not going to fly to Cuba on the 14th. Mr. Gomez, is not going to arrive on Thursday 13th, is not, okay? Very good. So basically uh, we use uh, going to, to describe a schedule activities, okay? Or activities that you, have, um, that you have planned for the future, okay? Now, how do you make questions? Como hacemos preguntas? How do you make questions, okay? So you put are, are or is at the beginning and you say, are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? So you put R at the beginning. Are you going to stay? Okay. Second question. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? R at the beginning. Okay. Or maybe uh, information questions. Okay. You say, how long are, again, how long are you going to stay? When are you going to arrive, okay? So in the questions we put are, is, or am at the beginning of the sentence, okay? Los ponemos al principio. We put them at the, at the beginning. Now let me stop sharing. Now I ask, I mean, I repeat, we use going to for 
plan activities. If you don't have a plan, in case you don't have a plan, don't use going to. Even if you are speaking in future, but if you don't have plans, going to is not necessary. Okay? So now do you have any question about going to? Me. Okay. Um, Christian. Uh, when the four is negative, um, can be contracted? Yes. You can uh, say uh, isn't, aren't, or it depends, right, on the, on, the, on, on the verb that you use. So you can say, for example, Abigail isn't, like negative, right? Abigail isn't going to work tomorrow. Abigail isn't going to work tomorrow. Because no, I know. Yes, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I mean, I'm, uh, these are just examples, okay? These are just examples, all right? No, no, but, but you can do it because Juan Carlos doesn't know that you have a plan. Maybe you know. You can say, Abigail, I, I am not going to work because you have a plan. But Juan Carlos Rivas doesn't know. So Juan Carlos Rivas can say, can say Abigail is not going to work, okay? So uh, the example, right? It's only one example from Carlos. Abigail, I can say isn't, Christian. Abigail isn't going to work tomorrow, okay? Isn't, isn't, Juan Carlos. Isn't going to work tomorrow. Okay. Or Thank I you. can, yeah, yeah. Or I can say you aren't, you aren't. You say aren't. La forma contratada de are not, aren't. You aren't going to work tomorrow, okay? Yeah, it's possible. It's possible to make short form. So any other question? Do you have any other question? <clears throat> Sir, I have a question. Okay, uh, Rocio. En, um, en pregunta, eh, ¿por qué es are you not, are you and not do you? Oh, good question, okay. So just remember, in this case, um, for, for this type of questions, we use the verb to be, okay? Like am, is, or are. We use do for the simple present. Remember, like, do you usually take a shower on Monday? So it's present, okay? okay. Yeah. So for the future, for going to, in this case, we use am, is, or are. Am, is, or are. Are you going to work tomorrow? Is Rocio going to work tomorrow? Or am I going to give a class tomorrow? Okay, good. So do we have any other question? Do we have more questions? No? Okay, just let me, just let me give you the formula, okay? The formula for this. Now listen, uh, the, the formula for this is First, in positive and negative. First, let's see positive and negative, okay? Positive and, and negative, okay? For positive and negative in the formula, uh, first, first we have the, the subject. After the subject, we have the verb to be. When I say the verb to be, uh, we can have am, is, or are, okay? Am, um, is, or are, okay? So what is next? Que sigue? What is next? Next, we have going to. Going, okay? Going, okay, let me raise this. It's too, too ugly. Next, we have uh, going to. After going to, we have the verb, okay? And finally, we can have a, a complement, okay? Finally, we can have a complement. Now, check this out. In one, in, a, in one example, I can say, for example, she is going uh, to, I said to work. She's going to work tomorrow, you can say. She's going to work 
tomorrow. Okay, so we have a time expression. Now imagine you want to make a negative example, okay? A negative example, you say, for example, we are not, you can say are not or, or aren't, okay? We are not going, we are not going to visit, um, and then you continue, okay? We are not going to, to visit Mexico, Next year, for example, okay? So this is the formula for positive and negative. Esta es la estructura o la fórmula que seguimos para positivo y negativo en futuro, okay? For plans, cuando tenemos planes, when we have plans. ¿Cuál es la diferencia en preguntas? Ah, la diferencia en preguntas es que el verbo to be lo pasamos al principio, okay? Si yo quiero hacer una pregunta, digo, is she going to work tomorrow? Or, para la segunda, for the second, are we going to visit uh, Mexico next year? Are we, okay? So this is the structure. Esta es la estructura a seguir, la fórmula a seguir, the formula to follow. So if you want, you can make a screenshot. Si quieren, pueden hacer una captura de esto. If you want, you can make a screenshot. <clears throat> Now I ask. Now I ask, do you have any question or is clear? It's very clear? It's very clear. Okay, excellent. That's, that's very good. So now that, that I'm sure that is very clear, just remember, okay, this is for future. This topic is for future, but it's when you have plans. Esto se usa para cuando tenemos un plan, okay? O una actividad agendada, a schedule activity. Si no tienen un plan, si solo lo pensaron de repente y no tienen un plan, no se puede usar. You can use it, okay? What can you use? ¿Qué pueden usar? Will. That's another topic, okay? Very good. So now that you, um, now that you have this topic, okay, let's work. Let's go to work. Vamos a trabajar. Let's go to work. Now listen. Uh, you will go, um, you will go to page 42. Vamos a ir a la página 42. Go to page 42. And on page 42, you have some exercises, okay? Or you have some uh, scramble sentences. So, we have six sentences and they are disorganized. You need to organize the words to make sentences or questions. I repeat, you need to organize the words to make sentences or questions, okay? This is on page 42. Are we clear? Estamos claros? Are we clear? Yeah. Okay, page 42. We need to organize the words to make sentences or questions, okay? And for this, you will work in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en parejas. You will work in, in pairs, okay? So let's go to work in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en parejas. Let's go to work in pairs. Oración sería yo lo veo el, el cinco. When are you going to? El no, 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 ajá. 
right? So that right. one. For conference room. Ah, no, es que esa es la de arriba, la que usted está haciendo ahorita. No, o sea, no había visto ahí. Okay. Me parecía raro. <risa> Quiero ver. Es que la dos no es pregunta, es la oración. Yo voy a ir por... Teacher is so confused. It's sí, confusing. Entiendo como pregunta, pero no, no le veo el signo. No, number, number two is a sentence. It's not a question. Mm -hmm. not, number two is a sentence. It's not a question. Okay. Just remember the structure, okay? Remember the structure. Subject, is, am, or are, going to, verb, and complement, okay? Just remember that. You going to? Okay. No, no, no. No. Sería que. Sí. You going to? No. You are going to. You are going. You are going to make a reservation. A reservation mm -hmm. for conference room. Okay, what is? No. Tú hiciste una reservación. Are going to make a reservation for conference room. You, you, no, you are going to, you are. Sí, porque después de, quiero ver, según esto es. To make a reservation. Reservation. You are going to make. You are going to make a reservation for conference room. Ajá, ajá. Pero es que se oye como pregunta. ¿Qué, qué, qué quiere decir esto? No, no, it's a sentence. It's okay, it's a sentence. Mm -hmm. You are going to make a reservation. The, uh, for the conference room. Uh -huh. vas a hacer una reservación para el, um... No, it's, it sounds so sorry. I, I guess I confuse you. Yeah, it's it, I know Alejandro, it sounds kind of strange because it's a question. Actually, it's a question. It ¿verdad? sounds better. Yes, yes, you, you're right. Are you? Are you ¿verdad? going? Una pregunta. Yes. Sierra. Yeah, you're right. Tienes razón. Are you going to make a conference room? A reservation for the conference room. For the, for the conference room. No le pusieron el signo de la Ahí está. Ya se lo pusieron. Hey, no he escrito yo, no he escrito yo. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. Are you, are you going, going to do, going to do, going to do, next 
next um i'm going to i'm to mm -hmm. i'm going to wake up i'm going to i'm going to wake up uh, wake up call a wake up call mm. or request no see call, wake up call uh, uh, or Call, call request. I am. No, no. I am. I am going to. I'm going to request. I'm going to request. No, espera, a ver. es que request es como requerimiento. Ah, deja. Request. Uh -huh. I'm going to request. Uh, wake up call for five a.m. Okay. I'm going to request. Okay. Um. I wake up call. Teacher, antes de la hora no tendría que ir siempre algo, no me recuerdo qué es. Bien, está el teacher. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. No, no, but, but, no, but, but you have four in this case. <coughs> oh, okay. I'm going to request a wake up call. I am. Uh, um. But you say four, okay, because you have four. Remember, you need to use all the vocabulary. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 you need to say, I'm going to make a wake up call for 5 a.m. Four, for 5 a.m. para las 5 a.m., four, in this case. Oh, okay. Yeah. For 5 a.m. Exactly. Right, yeah. Exactly. Ya que Lynn está por ahí. Y estoy, baby. ¿Viste mm, okay. todo? <laughs> no. Espera, mm -hmm. este Mr. Díaz is going to. No, no. Mr. Díaz is going to. Uh -huh. To need. need uh -huh, to need a non smoking room. Y la anterior, y la anterior, well, ¿cómo la pusiste? My tenants, my tenants, ay, no sé cómo se dice. Mm. Thing is going to attend to the conference on October 10th. Ah, sí. ¿Qué sabe? Ok. Yo lo que estoy viendo algo, espérame. ¿Cuál? My thing is going to, uh -huh. ah, no hemos comido la es la de maintain. Ajá. Uh -huh. oh, Porque si dice maintain team, si está ahí también. Pero me dice attend. Ah, sería at the conference on October 10. Antes del. Uh, de, de, de attend. Sí. Attend. Uh -huh. Sería una conferencia. Ajá, esa era la única letra que hacía falta. Que de una, no, caramba, no me mierda en los ojos. Sí, yo creo que así es. My thing is going to de a de con de conferencia. Sí, porque on sería como octubre y el mes de conferencias también. No pudiera ir a A porque dijera a atenden. No, creo, creo que ahí va. No puede ir antes del verbo. 
No, porque le llevé a ten at the conference. Teacher, así estaría bien o no equivocamos. You say the, the maintenance, uh, the maintenance team is going to attend a conference, a conference. The maintenance team ah. is going to attend a conference. A vaya vez, así estaba. A de. 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 Yo no hay que decir a de. Así es. My tenants team es que is going to... El equipo de mantenimiento. Entonces es de my tenants team is going to... Entonces iría to otra vez de conference. A, a conference. conference nada más. No, solo a conference. Así sería, teacher. Yeah, yeah. The, the things that you say, the maintenance at the beginning, okay? Ah, the maintenance team... team is going to attend a conference, okay? The maintenance... Si no, no tiene sentido, solo yes. diría equipo de mantenimiento. Ah, okay. Yes, yes, you say el equipo de mantenimiento, the maintenance mm -hmm. room, okay? Es the maintenance team is I going to finish. attend a conference on October. Okay, quiero ver cuál otra. October 10th. October 10th, sí. On October 10th. October... Sí. Ok, quiero ver. Sí, ahí estamos ya. Sí, con eso ya las terminamos. So, you finished? Yes. Oh, nice. That's excellent. So, uh, take a time and check them again. Pueden revisarlos otra vez. You can check them again. Ok. Vaya, la segunda queda. You are going to. Do... Miss Diaz is going to is going to uh, no. Ahí están entonces. Okay. Practice don't remember. Ah, uh, did you finish? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. Very good. So let's go back to the main session. Bueno, muchachos. Hasta luego. Gracias. Bye. Okay, uh, did you finish? Yes. Did you finish? Yes, sure. Yes, okay, perfect. Alfreda, you look very tired. Yes, I am. Yes, you look like very, very tired. Okay, we're waiting for the others. I just want to see who has the one-on-one -on -one session today. Okay, uh, for the one-on-one session, for the one-on-one -on -one session today, we have Rocio Lourdes. Okay, for the one-on-one -on -one session today, we have Rocio Lourdes. So, are you ready, Rocio? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. That's very good. Okay, uh, so now it's time. It's time to check. Okay, the sentences you organize. All right. So let's see, Galileo, you will share number two. Galileo number two. Okay, so take notes, please. Galileo number two. Um, let me see. Let me see, Omar. Omar, number three, Omar Francisco. Uh, number four, let's listen to, um, let me see here, Ember. Okay, number four. Number five, Nelson. And number six, let's listen to... Let me see here. Oscar Arnulfo. Oscar Arnulfo? Oh, I think he, he's not there. Okay, so for number six, let's listen to um, Christian. Okay, Christian, number six. Yeah, 
So let's see, number one, are you ready? And uh, number two, sorry, number one is done. So number two, let's start. I'm ready. Are you going to make a reservation for the conference room? Repeat it, please. Are you going to make a reservation for the conference room? Are you going to make a reservation for the conference room? Mm. Is that yeah. okay, everybody? Is it okay? Yes? Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you, Amber. Good job. Terrific. Okay, that's excellent. All right, let's listen to number three. Number three. Number three. Who has number three? I don't. I have a problem with audio, not teacher. Ah, okay, we can hear you. Three. Number three. No, no, I, I think I don't remember. Who has number three? I, I, I don't think it's Peter. I think it's somebody else. Oscar. Oscar, okay. Ah, but Oscar is not here. Okay, let's listen to Frida then. Frida, do you have number three? Yes. Okay, share number three, please. Okay, let me, three. Miss Tour, no, but no. I'm going to request a wake up call for 5 a.m. Okay, I'm going to request a wake up call for 5 a.m., right? A.m., yes. Yes, do you have the same, everybody, or you have it differently? It's the same. It's the same, it's the same. I'm going to request a wake-up call for 5 a.m. Okay, thank you, Frida. Awesome, all right, awesome. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Frida. Let's see number four. Who has number four? Hi, teacher. Okay. Uh, Miss, Miss Dulcius is going to check out tomorrow. Can you repeat it, please? Miss Turcios is going to check out tomorrow. Oh, Miss Turcios is going to check out tomorrow. Do you have the same, everybody? Yes. Yes, Every, does everybody have the same? Yeah? Okay, thank you very much, Amber, right? It was Amber. Yes. yes, okay, thank you, Amber. Awesome, thank you very much. Okay, awesome work. Let's see number five. My maintenance team is are going to attend conference October uh, 10. Repeat it, please, mister. Okay. Maintenance team is are going to attend. <laughs> My maintenance team is are going to attend conference October 10. Okay, yeah, it's okay, but you are missing two words. Faltan dos palabras. You are missing two words in the sentence. You're missing a and de. Oh. A and de. A and de. Ah, okay. Yes, le faltan dos palabras. You're missing two words in the in the sentence. <laughs> who who did you work okay. with, Miss Mr. Cabarrete? Who was your partner? ¿Quién fue? ¿Quién era tu, su compañero? Who was your partner? Frida. 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 Okay, Frida. Do you have it the same, Frida? Yes. Yes, but, but you need to... Uh, there, are, there, there are two more words. Faltan dos palabras. A and da. A okay. and da. ¿Cuál nombre es? Sorry. It's number five. Mr. Diaz is, go is going to a new non-smoking room. Okay, no, no, it's number five, number five, not number four. Oh, is maintenance. Maintenance team is going to attend conference on October 10th. Yes, you're missing the word that and the word ah. You didn't use them. You didn't use two words. Okay, uh, so, yeah, you didn't use two words. Uh, so, can anybody share, please, the same? Yeah. Who wants to Okay, let's see Maria Elena. Uh, the maintenance team is going uh, to attend a conference on October 10th. Yes, okay. Uh, the maintenance, the, okay, mm -hmm. you say the, the maintenance team is going to attend a conference, and then you said on October 10th, right? Right. On October 10th, okay? Yeah, so the, the maintenance team sent a conference, Frida, okay? Yeah. Yeah. 
um, in the question form is is the maintenance team going to attend a conference on October 10th? Yes. The maintenance team is going to attend a conference on October 10th. No, le decía, en la forma de pregunta, donde había el verbo to be, se hace pregunta, ¿verdad? Sería poniéndolo, is the maintenance team? It does, um, no, in this case, it's a sentence. It's a sentence. If you want to make it a question, I mean the, 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 the correct, I mean the correct one here is a sentence. But if you want to make it a question, you say is. Is the maintenance team going to attend a conference on October 10th? And you have a question, okay? Okay. Okay, yeah, but, but in the answer is a sentence, it's not a question, okay? Para la respuesta que tenemos acá es una oración, it's a sentence, okay? Good. Okay, let's see number six. Who has number six? Me. Okay, Christian, go ahead. Mrs. Diaz is going to need a non-smoking room. Okay, Miss Diaz is going to need a non-smoking room. Okay, what about the others? Okay, thank you, Christian. What about the others? What do you have? Do you have the same or you have I, something different? I different. Okay, what do you have, Ember? Is Miss Diaz going to need a non-smoking room? Yeah, it's a question, okay? It's a question. I mean, Christian, your sent as a sentence is okay, okay? But the purpose of this is a question, okay? So you say is, is Miss Diaz, okay. okay? Not Miss Diaz is, all right? Is Miss Diaz going to need a non-smoking room? Yeah, and there you have the question, okay? Good. Okay, everybody. So did everyone complete? Todos completaron? Did everyone complete and correct? Yeah? Yes. yes. Yes, okay, thank you very much. Now, I ask again, do you have any question about this topic? Do you have any question about this topic? Teacher. Yeah. En realidad, sí es acerca de going to, pero es en realidad a la tarea, a la tarea de este día. Okay. Realmente, um, mire, también con el compañero Mar hemos estado tratando de, de buscarle un punto, la mayúscula y poniéndole un verbo y otro. Bueno, en mi caso es difícil. No sé si es que hay que buscarle la manera. Honestamente no, no le hay. Oh, I no have a si question. Otro compañero ha tenido el mismo yes. problema. Yes, I actually Galileo texted me in the morning. Okay, Galileo texted me in the morning, but it's only one, right? Only one has a problem. Yo creo que la que... Yes. Yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think everybody had the same problem. Okay. Creo que todos tuvieron el mismo problema porque yo recuerdo que hace como... Ah, voy a hablar no, en español. Yo ahorita. le hice la pregunta. Sí. Y también anteriormente, hace como dos semanas, alguien me hizo la pregunta. Y en realidad aquí la tienen buena porque Galileo me la mandó y estaba buena la respuesta en la plataforma. Estaba buena. It was okay. Pero yo creo que el problema, el error está en la plataforma, creo, según veo, porque la respuesta está buena. ¿Ok? A veces suele pasar, no es muy común, quizás en una vez al tiempo, pero a veces la configuración de la respuesta es el, es el problema, pero no es que ustedes la tengan mala, ¿ok? Así que... ¿En ese caso la dejamos así y damos por válida la respuesta o, o cómo...? Yes, no creo que solo una respuesta le baje del 100%, una respuesta, una respuesta perdón, de toda la, la, la semana, ¿ok? It's impossible. Pero todo, todo ese bloque queda como que están malas. No, I, no, de hecho es solo no, una solo nada más. Una, eh. Es solo, solo una, una, it's only one. Es solo Yo una la que tiene Estoy tratando de hacer la hora y le puse de todo. Y... Sí, solo una es la que, está, que sale mala. Estoy consciente porque, bueno, Galileo me las mandó y todas estaban buenas excepto una. Y también Voy alguien más me la mandó hace dos semanas. Ajá. Try again, intenta otra vez. Y con, y con respecto al, al tercero, al, al, al de la semana pasada, yo lo Ajá. completé todo, pero no me aparece marcado como que si lo hice, sale como que no hice nada. Pero en el tercero, ¿es que la tercera semana o...? Ah, la tercera semana. No, pero a mí me aparece tu nota. Sí, ah, ok. 
Sí, 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 sí me aparece. Esa o, duda si, no es. o si no te hubiese, te, te hubiese escrito un mensaje, así como algunos que le he escrito mensajes que no ha completado. Pero okay. en tu caso sí me aparecía. ¿Ya? Y, y en este caso de la tarea de, de este día es de escribir toda la oración o solamente la parte que falta. No, only the answer, solo la parte que falta. Del going to es solo la parte que falta, only the missing part. Okay. Ya, yeah, tal vez ahí esté el error entonces de algunos. Es solo la parte que falta. Only the missing part, ¿ok? Ahí le da el verbo que van a usar. Bueno, I, I think you, go, you went and checked, ¿ok? Good. Uh, yeah, so don't worry. Um, Christian creo que hacía la pregunta. Don't worry, it's not only you, all right? Son varios que tuvieron el mismo problema en esa pregunta okay. específicamente, on that sentence specifically, ¿ok? Ok, very good. So if you don't have any questions, then let's go to, uh, for, to the last activity. So listen. Uh, in the last activity, you will prepare, okay, in pairs, uh, you will prepare um, a conversation, okay? Let me show you here. So the idea is, is activity number six. The idea is that you think of two business events that you are going to attend, okay? Think about business events that you are going to attend. Maybe if you don't have business events that you are going to attend, you can think of a vacation you're going to attend with your family, okay? You have two options, okay? Two, two business events that you are going to go to or two events that you are going to attend. But imagine that you don't have any business events to attend. So it can be a family event. It can be going somewhere, I don't know, okay? So assign the dates for the activities. For example, you can say summer vacation with my family. December 10th, okay, I don't know. Or maybe you can say, um, meeting with the new boss uh, here on the business event, right? Meeting, meeting with the new boss, um, June 20th, for example, I don't know, okay? And then you practice making a hotel reservation, okay? You will, you will make a conversation, um, or you will write a conversation making a hotel reservation. For this, you can use this conversation as an example. Pueden usar esta conversación como ejemplo. So you can say, hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Bernardo, how, how can I help you? And then you say, hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Bernardo Martinez. Or I'm, you say your name, right? Thank you, Mr. Martinez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on, and then you, you continue. So the idea is that you use this conversation as an example, okay? And you talk about, or the idea is that you plan, okay? Or you made a reservation for two events, okay? Using the conversation. And then you practice and you present to the class, okay? Clear or not clear? Clear or not clear? Clear, okay? First, you need to think, okay, of the two business events or of the two family events. And then you need to practice the conversation and then you make a, a reservation, okay, about these two events you have on your notebook, okay? Good, for this activity, we will, we will um, work in pairs and you need to practice the conversation to present to the class, okay? So let's go to work in pairs. I will give you like six minutes, okay? I will give you like six minutes to work on this activity. So let's go. Uh, let me see. Ember and Ana Beatriz, pair number one. Ember and Ana Beatriz, you are group number one, okay? Frida and Jacqueline Gloribel, group number two. Mauricio and Nelson, group number three. Oscar and Abigail, Group number four. Don't forget, please, que no se les olvide. Oscar and Abigail, group number four. Rocío and Alejandro, group number five. Maria Elena and Jose Galileo, group number six. Maria Elena and Jose Galileo, group number six. Christian and Juan Carlos Rivas. Yeah, Christian and Juan Carlos Rivas, group number seven. Okay, group number seven. And Omar Francisco and Dinora. Dinora. Hello, Dinora. Hi, Dinora. Are you going to participate in the activity? Yes. 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 Sir. Okay. So Omar and Dinora, you are group number eight. 
group number eight, okay? Good. Now let's go. Please choose your teams. Elijan el equipo correcto. Choose the right team, please. Okay, choose the correct team. Elijan el, el equipo correcto. Choose the correct group or team. Solo hay ocho. Ok, bueno, estoy ya me dormí. Ok. okay. Empecemos. Okay. Hello. Hello. Thank you for calling the Dinora's Hotel. <laughs> This is Dinora. How can I help you? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Omar Hernandez. Thank you, Mr. Hernandez. When are you going to arrive? I go to arrive on Monday is Monday is 21. 21st. 21st. You say 21st. on Monday, on Monday 21st. You use, uh, for this activity, you use ordinal numbers, okay? 21st. Okay. Thank you today, teacher. Yeah. 21st. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Hernandez? I'm going to stay until um, Friday. 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 Are you going to make the reservation for a single or double room? Uh, double room, please. Teacher. Yeah. Question. Is, uh, esto es, es como una práctica, pero nosotros debemos de inventar uno por nosotros mismos. Yeah, yeah. O está bien esto que hacemos. No, no, the, the idea is that you think of two events, right? I mean, you are not going to mention the two events in the conversation, okay? Okay. It's, it's, it's very hard, like, to mention the events, okay? But the idea is, like, to, to think of two events and then to, to speak about the two events in the conversation, okay? The conversation is about the two events that you have, okay? I said, can be okay. business, they can be business events or family events, okay? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I said, right, if you don't have a business event, maybe you can think of a family event. Okay. 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 Okay, Omar. I have a, a business event. A business event. Yes. On on Friday. Friday. I, I'm going to I'm going to make a proof of 
pizza. I'm going to make pizza proof. I... No, solo te estoy dando. Ah, okay. sí es la cosa. Ok, sí es un... Hace poco fui a uno, pero tenían uno de comida en la, en la carta. Teacher, is, yes. eh, in, is, eh, ese hotel también tenía karaoke. Eso entiendo que hay algunos que lo tienen, juegos de yes. sala. It's a service. Mm -hmm. It's, that's an amenity, actually. Eh, ¿Eso cómo se tomaría? Amenities. It's an amenity. Amenity. Yeah. Okay. Remember, uh, an amenity is a service, okay? An amenity is a service. And an accommodation is like a room for resting or for sleeping, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And another business event is... Okay, uh, did you finish? No, no, no. no teacher. You okay. are working. So, yeah, no. ah, okay. You look very tired, Mauricio. Oh, you no. look very, you look tired. You look tired. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I también look. No, I'm también cansado. I'm pesado. Yeah, me imagino. I conectar por más que. I imagine. Que Que no esté la mujer en la casa. No hace nada. Oh hasta my el, God. Hasta el perro hace rodeo. <ríe> Entonces, Nelson sería la otra parte. Usted le cambiaría. I am going to stay until Monday o I am going to stay a uh, qué? Two, ah, two dice, week. I am going to week. stay. Usted me va a hablar los que damos en. How long are you ah. going to stay in the hotel, Mr. Gabarrete? Ajá, entonces yo le voy a decir, I am going to stay. I am going to stay. Two weeks, pues. Two, dos, dos semanas. I'm going to stay two weeks. Ajá, pero aquí dice uh, Monday, ¿verdad? Porque ahí arriba también mm. se decía, ¿verdad? Entonces sí. aquí sería. I'm going to stay two weeks, or two weeks, two semanas. And what, what did you say above? ¿Qué dijeron arriba? When are you going to arrive? How long are you going to stay in the hotel? No, Mr. I mean, I, I mean in, the pre, in the previous question, when are you going to arrive? What did you answer? ¿Qué contestan? I'm going to arrive on... ¿Qué contesta ahí, Nelson? Uh, I'm going to arrive on Monday... 21st. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. 21st. Monday 21st. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, you, you can say two weeks. It's okay. I'm going to stay. ¿Cómo me dijo? Perdón. I am going to stay to maybe in Maybe in this case, you can say four for two weeks. Uh, I'm going to stay for two weeks. Okay. Yeah, for two weeks. For two semanas, I'm going to stay for two weeks. Okay. I am. I am going to stay. Ya no llevaría. Yes, I'm going to stay. Ah, uh, two two weeks, verdad? For two weeks. Okay. Bueno, me he equivocado. Bueno, okay. Ajá. Uh Ahí -huh. uh, Are you are you going to make uh? To go in. To, to make, make uh, to make the reservation. 
to make the reservation? Or a single or double room? Or a single room, please? Uh -huh. Aquí le podemos cambiar. No, así lo podemos dejar. Okay. For a single or a double room. A single oh. room, please. Oh, pida la, la suite presidencial. Bueno, <risa> bueno pongámosla pues. A Sería entonces. Room, I need. A suite. Le Desde quito I a single, ¿verdad? I need a suite, ajá. I need a suite, please. <risa> permítame, permítame. I need. A suite. Please. Uh, a suite. Ya, creo que ya con eso ya quedamos. ¿no? Así quito el run, sí. Ajá. Solo que, ¿cómo se, cómo se escribe? Sweet, perdón. Sweet, es, sí. Sí, S-U-I-T-E. -E. Ah, que sí, es cierto. S -S -T. Uh -huh. Ok, gracias. Bueno. Okay, let's wait for the others to come back because they need to say something uh, very important, okay? I think some people are still working. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, you didn't finish. Or did you finish? No, um, oh, Okay, so uh, Maria Elena, who was your partner? Don Galileo. Ah, Galileo, okay. Maybe you can text each other later to finish it, okay? You can text yeah. each other later to finish it. Okay, very good. Anyways, you won't present today, don't worry. It's time. Okay, everybody, so uh, it's time already. I just need to say something important, okay? It's time. So listen, uh, just, I mean, you study this, but this is just to, to remind you, okay? Solo para recordar, just to remind you. And uh, when we use I, I say I am. I am going to, for example, I am going to visit uh, New York next week. When I use uh, you, I say are. You are going to, um, to what? You are going to work on Sunday, okay? When I say he, she, and it, third person singular, I say is. He is going to work. She is going to work, okay? When I say we, you, they, plurals, I say are. We are going to work, they are going to work, or um, you are going to work, okay? So don't forget this, please, for am, is, and are, okay? So thank you very much. I don't know if you have any questions about the class. No questions about the class? No. Okay, so I will see you tomorrow then. Remember, on Thursday, we don't have classes, okay? Tomorrow we have classes. Mañana si tenemos clases. Es el jueves que no tenemos clases, okay? So uh, everybody, thank you very much for getting connected. And I will see you tomorrow, okay? So goodbye and good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Only Rocio, only Rocio stays. <laughs> Solo Rocío se queda. Only Rocío stays. Okay, Rocío, so this space is for you. Okay. Hi. What a breath. <laughs> Estoy saliendo de mi zona de confort con esto. Oh, what do you mean? Mm. Porque he abandonado mil veces cada vez que quiero aprender inglés. Oh, ¿En serio? Like, sí. uh, but with inglés corporativo, or... No, 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 no. Uh, Not with inglés corporativo. No, no, ahorita sí es. 
un compromiso de ego. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, ahí sí. So, so it's good and it's a good commitment. Es un buen compromiso, <laughs> it's a good commitment. <laughs> you want to test yourself. Quieres probarte a ti misma. You want to test yourself. Yes. Ok, good. It's a challenge. In, in my, my home, my husband uh, speaks three languages. Oh, really? Really. Well, Spanish, right? Obvio. Uh, Spanish, English, uh, and French. English and French. Oh, excellent. Is he a teacher? No, no, no. Uh, en su trabajo ocupa el inglés, pues, pero... He uses ¿verdad? English at work. Uh -huh. And French? And French is... Oh, he only likes languages. Mm -hmm. Oh, mi, interesting. Mi hijo eh, italiano y el otro inglés. Entonces solo yo me quedo. Yes, it's a challenge for you then. It's a challenge for you. <laughs> Horrible, pero bueno. Yes. If I, if I were your family, si yo fuera tu familia, te hablara solo inglés. <laughs> no, pero... Todos los días, después de clase, mi esposo me pregunta, ¿y hoy qué viste? Y hoy no sé qué. El domingo estuvimos aprendiendo unas canciones en inglés. Oh, interesting. Uh -huh. okay. Así como... <laughs> okay, Rocío. So, uh, I don't know if you have any questions or anything about anything you want to know about the class. Uh, the grammatic is it's so confused for me. Um, uh, I, I am, um, bueno, I, yo, yo hago un gran esfuerzo para tratar de entender y quiero agradecerle, perdón que no le diga en inglés. <laughs> no, de verdad quiero agradecerle porque el, el, la dinámica de, de investigar y todo eso es, es muy buena. Así logra entender varias cosas que hasta el sol de hoy no, no lograba comprender. Oh, Ahora, nice. Ahora bien, este, ¿cómo ve mi desarrollo? ¿Cómo ve que me desenvuelvo? Porque es importante para saber. Ok, uh, ah, yeah. ya. Uh, actually, I see everybody, right? Ve, ve, veo, el, el, ve, veo el desarrollo de todos, ok, de, desde el principio. Mm -hmm. Lastimosamente, tú no estuviste conmigo desde el principio, but I see your development, like in this module, pero sí veo el desarrollo en este módulo. ¿De qué vamos a hablar? ¿Speaking? Mm -hmm. Speaking, okay, yeah. So, uh, I mean, I like it because, I mean, you, you take the challenge to speak English. Toma el desafío eh, de hablar inglés, okay? Sometimes you make mistakes, but they're little. Algunas veces comete errores, pero son bien, bien mínimos. They're very little, okay? Obviamente no, no voy a estar así como corriendo en frente de toda la, la clase, ¿verdad? In front of the, of the class. But the most important is that you try, okay? Que lo intentas cuando trabajas en parejas, o en equipos y cuando das una opinión. So you give your, your best in speaking, okay? Okay. Yeah. So you are, I mean, if you continue like this, like risking, si te continúas arriesgando a participar de esa manera, okay, you will improve a lot. Mejorarás mucho. You will improve a lot. Okay. Thank yeah. you very much. Okay. Estuve cerca de no lograr la matrícula para el otro módulo. Oh, en serio. Tuve que hacerlo yo porque han habido cambios con la gente de recursos humanos y nadie se hizo cargo. Entonces ahora tuve que hablar en clase corporativo y pedir toda la documentación porque fue ayer el último día. Exactamente. Uh -huh. Pero Entonces, sí se pudo. Sí, ya me confirmaron que sí. Ah, okay. Porque eh, perdí el módulo anterior, o sea, antes de ese lo perdí. Entonces perdí todo el todo. Entonces, me ha costado acostumbrarme al, a otro tipo de... De, de metodología. De metodología. Eh, y era así como, oh, yo quiero estar otra vez ahí, pero realmente tenía que seguir el orden de los, de los módulos. Exacto. Sí, sí, lastimosamente debe ser así. No se puede saltar un módulo uno, sino que debe seguir el orden que, que llevan. Es requisito de Insafor. Ah, no, claro. Igual hay cosas que he aprendido ahorita que que no sabía, pues, entonces iba a quedar ese vacío. Yes, that's, that's the most important, that you have learned many things. Usted tiene asiento hindú. <laughs> en serio, seriously. You are the first person to tell me that. Eres la primera persona que me dice eso. 
No, de verdad, <risa> tiene acento hindú. Y de hecho, un día lo estuve, lo estuve escuchando en, como en, 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 en el speaker. Y mi esposo me dijo, él es hindú. Y yo, ¿verdad que se le oye el acento hindú? Sí, me dice. I don't, I don't know where I got the accent from. No sé dónde obtuve el acento. En realidad, solo es, es mi acento normalmente. Ah, no, claro. Yeah. Claro, igual que en el francés, yo con francés tengo mi propio acento porque tengo problemas con él. Estuve aprendiendo como dos meses con mi esposo, después ya no. Pero a veces hay, hay palabras en inglés que me cuesta pronunciarlas porque me recuerdan a palabras en francés. Oh, my, 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 I have a recommendation in case you want to, to learn more languages. Um, adults, right? We are adults and adults are different from children, okay? So my, my recommendation is that if you want to learn English, first learn English, okay? And then learn French because, you know, our brains, like adult, uh, brains of adults, work differently, okay? Los, los cerebros de los, de los adultos funcionan diferente, okay? It's like very difficult to learn two languages at the same time. Científicamente es bien difícil aprender dos idiomas a la vez. Es mejor aprender uno, you learn one, and then you learn the other one. Y si vas luego al otro, se te hace más fácil porque ya tienes la experiencia del primer idioma. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, totalmente. Ah, pero primero sí. uno y luego el otro. Sí, es que estuve como de oyente en las clases de él. Entonces, eh, de repente yo copia, yo era la que copiaba clases, él no. Entonces, eh, se me quedaron varias cosas y esa palabra, por ejemplo, a, eh, a boy, me recuerda y se escribe parecido a or what. <laughs> so, so, so you confuse the, the words, basically. Entonces, Galileo me hizo burla, me dice, pero ¿y por qué lo pronuncia así? yo... Es que se parece a una palabra en francés. Oh, my goodness. Sí, sí, la prim primero un idioma y luego el otro. Sí, es no, ahorita estoy por mm -hmm. inglés. First English and then French. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Para ponerme el día. Yes. Dicho, sí. ¿cómo puedo...? Eh, reforzar la, gram la gramática. Hay una página que es muy buena que se llama I, I will send it to you in a text. Te la voy a mandar ahorita en un, video, en un, en un texto. ¿okay? Esa página tiene videos y tiene ejercicios. ¿okay? Del mismo video tú puedes hacer un, digamos, miras el video y ahí mismo te aparece un, un pequeño quiz o un pequeño, un pequeño examen acerca de ese, de ese video para practicar. Y va desde gramática básica hasta gramática avanzada. Ahí tú eliges lo que, lo que tú quieres. Ahorita te voy a mandar la, el, el website. ¿Okay? ¿Ok? Ahí te lo voy a compartir en el chat para que lo puedas tener en la mano. En WhatsApp, no. Ah, no. no, en el chat de, de, de aquí, de, de, oh. de, de Zoom. Ahí lo mandé ahorita. ¿Can you see? Yes. Ajá, ahí lo puedes revisar con tiempo. Aquí lo que, lo que puedes encontrar son videos de lo que tú quieres, ¿ok? Tienen dif diferentes lecciones y di diferentes lecciones, perdón, y diferentes tópicos. Hay de todo, de vocabulario, pero principalmente gramática. Principalmente grammar, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Ajá. Y ahí abajito siempre, cuando terminas de ver el video, tienes la opción de tomar un pequeño quiz, un pequeño examen acerca de, de lo que te han explicado. Es muy buena esa página. It's very para good. Para reforzar. Para reforzar gramática y vocabulario. Ok, igual hay yeah. una, una aplicación que es como para niños, pero da mucho vocabulario también. Esa la, la ocupo por el vocabulario más que todo. Yeah, it's ok. Apps are really good. I use apps too. Yo también uso aplicaciones para inglés. Uso ah. una de, de, de phrasal verbs porque eso me cuesta a mí un poquito. Los olvido siempre. Ah. Ajá. Hay que tomar omega 3. <risa> yes. I eat a lot of fish, believe me. <laughs> but I am a little forgetful. It's natural on me. <laughs> yeah. Did you see Nemo? Sorry? Did you see the movie Nemo? Yes, I, I saw the movie. I like it. <laughs> and um, Doris? Yes, I remember Doris too. 
I am Gordon. <laughs> it's so the best if, example. Uh -huh. <laughs> so if I uh, so Nemo is a little for is a little forgetful too, right? <laughs> Yo to, todo lo anoto, todo, o sea, de verdad, todo lo anoto. Todo. I do the same, I am the same. Porque si no lo olvido, no lo grabo. Yeah, I imagine, it's better, es mejor. No lo grabo, no lo grabo. Ok, okay teacher, eh, yo creo que voy a practicar con esto, con este mm -hmm. website. Eh, esperando reforzar la gramática porque es lo que más me frustra Sí, ese website es muy bueno y lo, y lo bueno es que los videos no son así como muy largos sino que son videos, depende del tema no más de 7 minutos, 8 minutos 6, 6 minutos, 4 minutos ah. Ajá, y después está el quiz es algo que podemos hacer rápido y bien explicadito Ok Ok, ok teacher, thank you Ok, thank you for connecting Rocío, see you tomorrow See you tomorrow Okay, goodbye and good night. Good night. All right, bye.